So, I think the Kubo should be held responsible for whatever decision he took because he wanted to be in, 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 in power. The same people you are using against the Igbos are the same people you said you are going to carry your gun and shoot. Shoot their helicopter. I said the Kubo himself is short-sighted. He is very clueless. He do not understand what it means and what he says at any point in time. But the anger of losing control of the Biafran uh, circle is what has he has tailored his anger always towards Igbo. But I never see any Igbo man reacting to uh, Asari Dokubo because uh, we, we have already uh, placed they have already placed him in a position where he is and where he will remain. I, he, I, there's nothing on this earth that will make Bola Ahmed Tunubu look in the direction of Asari Dokubo again. Ranting, uh, Sadio Kobo is ranting. That's the way the military, the Tunubu's administration is seeing it currently now. That Asari Dokubo is ranting because you see, there's something that transpired when Tunubu came to power, where he came to the uh, Asu Rock and was, you know, uh, trying to excite ethnic cleansing against the Igbo. I think to understand, the North Alas were not happy for that kind of uh, a poutish atmosphere uh, in the presidential uh, at, uh, uh, corner or a space where you are supposed to come and be presidential but you saw that immediately he visited the president and came out you know he started uh, behaving as if he doesn't know where and what is actually at stake so the northern leaders not even the Yorubas, the northern leaders now have to call to the boot to order you know and to, to that henceforth they don't want to see asari de Cuba close to the presidential you know space that was the beginning of the crisis between Asari Dokubo and, uh, of course, Abola uh, Ambe Etinobu. It has already generated, you know, uh, given the recent development. And a citizen who comes out, you know, who said he has uh, embraced amnesty, we saw his militant days, even though he was not able to achieve anything as a militant in that place, because they are still running the crude oil in, in the Niger Delta. I imagine the uh, uh, Sultan of Sokoto saying, Nigeria is not going to break because I have to enter oil wells in Niger Delta. Nobody is saying anything about that. So, I, I said the Kubo has missed it completely and he's draining, you know, uh, his image is draining among new political actors in Niger Delta. Forget all the noise, forget all the paparazzi, forget all he claims that uh, he has or what he is, is, is said to achieve. But you can see how he has been manipulating the consciousness of um, uh, 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 indigenous of Niger Delta into, you know, something that has to do with... In fact, he has become a menace. Yes, what he was doing with the Niger Delta use is a menace to Niger Delta uh, 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 as a region, and it, it cannot be able to produce anything. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm putting Asari Dokubo in a proper perspective so that maybe he will understand the consequences of what he's doing. I'm not talking about the federal government, what the federal government will want to do with him, because I know fully well um, that uh, uh, the, the human rights factor is going to set in if the military decide to engage him at any point in time and they'll start talking about uh, human rights violation and they about and think based on that uh, that's where uh, the military is actually going to be conscious uh, if they want to take any offensive uh, based on the statement that was credited to asari dokubo that he has what it takes to bring down uh, uh, a military helicopter anywhere any day in nigeria you know that shock you know uh, the uh, nigerian military hierarchy but can he do it let me tell you, uh, you know, uh, see, uh, let us see, let us not go to that level uh, if he actually, whether he can do it or not, but he claims that he can do it, that the federal government, the government say no, knows that he can do it. If you can do it, one, two, three, can you be able to sustain it? That, you understand, sustainability, you know, you, you are not even able to sustain the Niger data uh, 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 struggle. You know, for the emancipation of Niger Delta, you were in the tower. I invited the enemy down to your uh, space. Then how are you telling? Are you going to let me know that you can be able to sustain military uh, onslaught or uh, within your base? So you cannot. 
So, but I, I'm saying that you know, all, all, based on human rights and, and uh, humanity, uh, 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 the military has tried as much as possible to be very cautious in dealing with Asari uh, and Dokubo. But let me tell you, Bola Ahmed Tulubu's image has got, not has gone down as a result of you know psychophants he surrounded himself with. Uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, weekend there, and we are having Asari Dokubo. Though you know Asari Dokubo seems to be running, and uh, they are seriously on the on the face of currently now. But you remember what Asari Dokubo said. Hold me responsible if Tulubu's government <laughs> does not produce anything in nigeria now it is time maybe they're still waiting maybe after this year or there about you know they will not step down and say i started the Kubo. here we are we didn't benefit anything from bola metribus government so where is what that you promise that you are going to do but let me tell you that show how non talents i started the Kubo has taken the fight the struggle i, I still like tombolo no, forget. I still government or 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 Tombolo and all the, that's what they call it in their language. You know, I still like the guy. You know, I think he's very articulate guy. I like Tombolo very well. You know, you can see him coming out to rant, coming out to make noise. He knew that Niger Delta issue the struggle is still pending. In fact, the people of Niger Delta, the leaders of Niger Delta, has to embrace him for him to even struggle to take that. Uh, 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 a contract. I know how he rejected amnesty. It's one of the people that rejected amnesty because he knew that the issue of Niger Delta has not been resolved. The ongoing cleansing is, uh, cleaning is not there. It has not been resolved. I said the Kuba is not looking at that. Those ones to talk about. He's only interested in taking up crumbs at the end of the day. But the fact remains is that the man he supported, he called Igbo's name. I think Nigerians are saying that he's Mr. Payne. So if Tulubu is Mr. Payne, Asari the Kubo is also Mr. Payne. So nothing good is going to come from Asari the Kubo. As, as, as simple as that. Nothing good is going to come from there. But he, you can see the way he's driving, trying to see where, he, where he's going to buy it. No, he's, at the end of the day, he's going to end on the foot of, of the evil man. Asari the Kubo. He will end. Uh, is he going to stop the north when they don't want to take the decision of Bola Ahmed Tinubu? Of course, that was the fear. And he has already planted the bow in case of in case. It, he has already put the uh, the can on the table, put the bow on the table. And the northerners are already staring at these two forces. And they don't know what to do about it. And Tinubu is trying to plant it, to use it to negotiate, you know, or to muzzle or to squeeze north to submission of his political ambition 20, uh, 2027. So Asari the Kubo knew it means that he is not a he's a visionless person. For having a, have not been able, he was not able to see that Tribu has nothing to offer Nigeria. Where people like us have already seen that my 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 my, my position has always been anything that do has to do with injustice cannot stand. Tribu's administration is not standing today because it is built, built on injustice and wickedness. He's wearing Obi, Peter Obi's shoe in Asurog. And he's not comfortable with it. And you can see the damage, the multiplying effect of that, what he's carrying in Asurog. The North are mocking him. Everybody is surprised. Even the Yorubas have continued to uh, distance themselves. You know, because they do not understand what has taken over Bola Amen at this point in time. Because everything, while the president was still away, they have to increase fuel. So who increased the fuel? I don't understand. Like the man is no longer in charge of this government. He's not holding grip of this government. So Nigerians are reacting negatively about his image currently now and the whole thing is going down and for him now uh, it has become a national anthem everywhere in nigeria now uh, when is mr Payne going to come back to inflict more pain that is the question that is the, what people are are responding to so uh, as what i'm trying to bring out there is that you know i said it, i said it, i said it, the Kubo himself is short-sighted he is very clueless he do not understand what it means and what he says at any point in time 
But the anger of losing control of the Biafran uh, circle is what has he has tailored his anger always towards Igbo. But I can see any Igbo man reacting to uh, Asari Dokuba because uh, we, we have already uh, placed they have already placed him in a position where he is and where he will remain. I, 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 there's nothing on this earth that will make Bola Ahmed Tunubu look in the direction of Asari Dokubo again. And if we feel that he is becoming too unfortunate, then they, they uh, normally he is supposed to be invited by the military. But he said uh, anyone that invites him now, that's going to be uh, they, they, they will destroy the oil pipeline in the Niger Delta. And that is the trend. That is the basis of which is always, you know, um, disturbing uh, the, the, the political space that he also championed. What is happening in River State was you, you can trace the hand of Asari Dokubo in it. Subara is weeping today because of indecision, because of the decision taken by the likes of Asari Dokubo in supporting what is happening in Asurok. You can see how many boys he brought that day. They were dancing to calamity. They were dancing to injustice. They were dancing to mal uh, 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 marginalization, maladministration. They were dancing into poverty. They were dancing the glory of Nigeria to the gutters. Asari Dokubo was one of them. So why is he not coming to claim as if he was not part of the calamity? Was the Igbos part of the calamity? The Igbo man never voted for APC. We don't understand what APC means, but it is very clear. So who is who has more vision at this point in time? Who will you say that uh, foresee the same thing, the same position we took under uh, 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 Buhari? But you, you can see the gang up. You can see everything. You know they have gone up. They have gone down. What is happening to Nigeria is still happening to Nigeria. They have not come out to sit down and said what is actually the problem. But they knew that the prince of this country has not assumed the position of priesthood of this country and their spiritual, physical, material, economic leadership. Wahala. Under the Obisional or Commission, they brought it. So you can see that Nigeria, you know, uh, putting Asari de Kuba on the scale means that Asari de Kuba is also part of what is happening in the Niger Delta. It's part of the problem of the Niger Delta. Because he supported them. So after supporting Tulibu, Tulibu told you about, I want to remove a, a job governor, and you are there saying that you have oil. Are you aware that the Sultan of Sokoto said I have 23 oil wells? That are going to bust the pipelines. But do you not think because Tunubu didn't give him any major contract, that's why he's acting. I, I was, uh, no, he's trying to share the glory because when they look at him, he's too tautish. Mm. Yeah, uh, 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 Atombolo is more corporate. Even Atombolo, you know, he, he could let. But uh, is Atombolo is somebody, I think even he has made a mistake by accepting that contract. But you see that he is coordinated. But you need to understand what I'm saying. You can see he, he's more corporate. Government have looked at him. No, this guy is matured and his balance is on the ground. And you know that at any time he can flame up. He can react. There can be re resistance in that angle of, from him. So, but looking at this man, he's always starting. But I meant to the more of the fact that no, this guy is going to mess up the pipeline contract. He, he doesn't know what he's doing. You know? That's but, but let me tell you that's what i'm saying the visitation as in they invited him there and he came out instead of leveraging on that opportunity you know uh, to synergize and create a beautiful atmosphere of romance between him and the president he started sounding toutish in there you were saying that the military are behind looting of crude oil in niger delta in government house so that's what they tell him. I said, okay, you are not coming again. And they have denied him of the space. And that is why he ran to Fubara. Unfortunately, unfortunately for Fubara, 
Kubala needed peace. The same people you are using against the Igbos are the same people you said you are going to carry your gun and shoot. Shoot their helicopter. Is that not how funny? Funny. The so-called people who are distancing themselves from the truth. They know the truth. But Igbo man is not the only people that lost war. If at all Igbo man lost that war. We know there was a constitutional ceasefire. And that constitutional ceasefire is what what the led go on to agree on the three point agenda mm. so anybody that's telling you that there was a loss that war was a loss is not telling you the truth as a result of that they will say an equally man yeah and, that, and it is and that and well he managed to struggle his evil identity anyway i mean I, i'm talking about that side of the but the governor himself fubara biafra has come out to say that I am Igbo. The, the present governor of River State. He came out, he said it. And that's the truth. But, but do you think the Niger Delta youth, if they turn upon as well the cover what he said, are they justified? So, Squeezing because it's what he said with his mouth. Let me tell you, anybody before you see ants or or, or, or or lizard coming to your place, you must have brought a wood that has Aunt. I, mean, I don't know how to put it in Hebrew. You, you understand? Oye Bataranko, Ahoho, Kambrena, Berogo. That is what it is. So we must understand that. So I think the Kubo should be held responsible for whatever decision he took because he wants to be in, in, in power. Thank you. It's against Jaffa. It's against Jaffa. Because Jaffa is Jaffa. And if they ordered and the, the thing have to enter before the declaration of Biafra. When the order is, they make sure they pay the money in time so that if Biafra is going, the money to pay for that equipment will not come from Nigerian pocket, it's not from Biafra pocket because they are using Biafra resources to say to pay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But all they are doing, they are preparing for Biafra. Whether the, the equipment have landed or it will land, if they have not landed, they will make sure they make it to land before December 2nd. Like now in Imo State, young men from age of 14, boys from age of 14 are, are missing now in Olo Sonatoria Zone, in uh, Oso area, Olo area, Oso area, local government. Nigeria procuring 24 fighter jets and 10 helicopters. Um, there's no crime in it. Every nation how to build their defense. But this one Nigeria is building now. Since the creation of Nigeria from 1960 or from 1914, Nigeria haven't procured air defense or air equipment like they did now. In the history, Nigeria never bought 24 war jets and 10 helicopters at a time. Go and check the record. But why are they buying it now? You feel that they have an agenda? Whom are they preparing war for? Which external aggression they want to go? Okay, it remains a naval ship. They should go and buy a, 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 a space carrier. They should go order it from America because America get the biggest now. They should go and buy submarine. Uh, they should go and buy it. They have seen that December is at hand. And the way the Biafras are moving, if they do not equip themselves well, they cannot overcome Biafra. And they have seen that on the ground, Biafras are masters of the ground. As Japanese, we are masters of the jungle through the Second World War. Biafras are masters of the ground. Now, they have seen that uh, if they can be able to seize air and use air to destabilize the men on the ground so that they cannot be able to hold feet to resist their army of occupation on the ground this is why they go you know so I don't, I, when i heard it as you're saying it i laugh 
So which time Nigeria have come to purchase this type of air power? 24 war jet at a time. 10 helicopter at a time. They try to they, they, they are trying to, to show you, to show their friends, to show the whole world that they mean business to slaughter. Mm. They mean business to destroy. They mean business to kill. They mean business to take over their friend land. Whether IDP camp or no IDP camp. But I am telling you, the money they use, whether they buy it high purchase, whether they bought it credit, whether they buy it cash at hand, pay and carry, all of them are came from the mineral resources that came from Biafra. As far as oil and gas is still existing in Biafra land, multiplying every day, it, it, it doesn't decrease, rather it's increasing. It will be very difficult for Nigeria to leave Biafra go. Let me tell you proper place. It will be very difficult for Nigeria to leave Biafra to go. Because all the whole emirs has oil well in Biafra land. And if Biafra go with the oil well, where will the emirs get that, have that oil well again? All the whole ex-president, retired army general and current, have oil share in oil. And if Biafra take their oil go, where will they have share that share again? They have oil wells. Most of them have refinery abroad and they will come here and take crude oil and locate it to NNPC. They will divert it and go to the crude abroad and refine it and return it back again to Nigeria and say they are importing oil. Oil subsidy have reduced, uh, removed and secretly they are the oil subsidy. That's why you see them increasing the petroleum products, increasing it because they own the oil, they own the importation, they will increase it. And to get more, make more profit. And um, they will purchase, they use Biafra money to purchase arms against Biafra. This is what they did in First War. The one who signed Biafra land to Cameroon, signed oil to Britain. All of them support Nigeria. Even Nigeria, Nigeria bought uh, uh, arms from Britain. High purchase. It was after the war that Nigeria paid. And the, after the war, they laid pipe from here to Britain. Britain were sorting out their own oil for free. And this is the plan going on now. Now they are laying pipe from Imo State. Oil gas from Imo State to North, from North to Niger, from Niger, from Niger to Mauritania, from Mauritania to, to, to uh, uh, Morocco, from Morocco to Spain, to supply oil to Europe. Supplying, I mean, gas to Europe because the, 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 the first off of Russia and uh, Ukraine plus NATO and America is affecting Europe in gas and oil. So they want to use gas and oil of Biafra in the name of Nigeria to substitute the one that is they are losing from Russia. And moreover, in case if Europe, mostly Western Europe, European Union, fall apart completely with Russia, they may not have the oil and gas again from Russia. So they want to take from the one from Biafra in the name of Nigeria. That's why they are the pipeline. Consult nobody in that territory. This is what they are using so the map because now this old geographical map, this geographical map now of all the Imo state of Nigeria. How much oil and gas, much gas de deposit? One of the areas that has much gas de deposit in the world. So they want to tap it there. From the one from Creek, they want to tap everything there. This is why, if you are talking of Biafra, United Nations and other countries just keep their eyes closed as if nothing is happening. This is why. They say marginalization. They are not talking of Biafra want to go. Even in United Nations, they are not talking of. They are talking uh, uh, riot in the in the Nigeria or uh, uh, marginalization. Uh, this one hunger. This that. This that. No, they, want, they don't want to talk the reality. What is happening? Because they depend on the oil and gas. This is why whatever Nigeria do, they go free. United Nations will come not come against them. This is why the killing and everything in Biafra land. United Nations keep short. Come over to keep short. Because they know 
They feel that they can get what they want in the name of Nigeria than in the name of Biafra. They will get that oil and gas in the name of Nigeria. It can be the name of Biafra. That's why they support inventors. Full of names to come and invent us. To come and invent the Biafra. You see, we should give man as a tool. Do you see? Because of this oil and oil and gas, any country in Europe now, or the people country in the world that lack oil and gas, and they are very strong in arms for production. If Nigeria go to tell them, give me arms, they will give Nigeria. Nigeria will sign to them after the war. If we subdue these people, if we walk them off and fill and take their land, we give you gas for free. Then those people will give them arms. All this 24 war jet and the helicopter, 10 helicopter they bought, or they're going to buy. I don't know whether they have bought it already, but they're going to buy. They already bought it already. Uh -huh. It's for that. It's for that. The order for it is for against Jaffa. It's against Jaffa. And if they ordered and the detain have to enter before the declaration of Jaffa, when they order it, they make sure they pay the money in time so that if Jaffa is going, the money to pay for that equipment will not come from Nigerian pocket. It's not from Jaffa pocket because they are using Jaffa resources to pay. To pay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But all they are doing, they are preparing for Jaffa. Whether the, the equipment have landed or it will land, if they have not landed, they will make sure they make it to land before December 2nd. Like now in Imo State, young men from age of 14, boys from age of 14 are, are missing now in Olo Sonatoria Zone, in uh, Oso area, Olo area, Oso area, local government. Ebubago, and Nigerian army we take night, dead night, to go and be breaking people door, kidnapping, taking young boys, and as soon as soon they, they take them, you not see them again. They will go, they will go on journey of no returning. Because this morning I had this, somebody call me, say, see what is going on. People call him from village in that area. Don't try to return home by this time. Any young man on the road by this time should go back. If you return, that's the end. In that area, in that almost notorious zone. If you return, huh, it's only God the Almighty will deliver you. Since the bombing of uh, IDP camp in Mimbo State and the uh, Fighting army in a Uber, you know, this will give my all that. I don't see why this will give my want to destroy Imo State. I don't see why you want to destroy Imo State. What shall it benefit a man to get the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his own soul? What shall it benefit this Odima? That only him and his family will live and relocate to any part of the world. He like after he have slaughtered his people. That place is going. He will, he, will he be called a, 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 an indigenous of that place? Okay, maybe in children we said to become a citizen over there and we forget anything about Ibo land, even though his family may forget it. This is why Isodima is committing all this crime. So Nigerian government buying that equipment the, in this hour, in this time, is not is it's not for fun. It's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a decoration for their uh, Amori base. It's not a decoration. It's for to use and use against people. I use against Japan. Tell me which nation are in love ahead with Nigeria that Nigeria are preparing to face those people. Then, the people he call his own citizens. The people is that he claim that they are one Nigeria to slaughter them again for the second time. But this time around, God will deliver us. You know their fear? Because they had the they saw in Twitter or had the we are some money per se Biafra should reactivate their air defense. And it seemed that someone never knew that they will go and purchase air power that made him to say Biafra should reactivate their air defense in case of any virtuality in the air. Do you see? Sometimes, uh, 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 all those people that are blind spiritually, 
Donc, il est en physiquement. Moi, ça m'en est pas tort. Quand il me périmane, les gens vont sont en train Si, si, moi, ça m'en est passé, si, moi, tu es en train de Who is a périmane? Is this a man? All those blind people who cannot see, both spiritually and physically. If someone is a, is a périmane, or whatever name they call him, will he be able to visualize, to know what will happen? And say, dear friends, should activate their air defense to defend against this 24 war jet and the 10 helicopter that Nigeria purchasing. Do you see a man who is spiritually blessed, who has spiritual discernment? Did he ever say that um, he knows that Nigeria will get 24 fighter jets? No, he did not say so. He did not say so. It's from, it's from his action, Abi. From his action, it seems that he knows. From his action. From the order he gives, reactivate the air defense. As if he knows that Nigeria will acquire such type of air power. Have you seen it? Wait, 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 what, what do you think the, the Afrans are capable of defeating Nigeria with this set of new um, aircraft they just got? Oh, well. Um, time will tell whether the Afrans will be able to stand or not. If they told Nigeria that Biafra can be able to stand for almost four years, three years plus, if Biafra can be able to stand, when they are not prepared to fight, you just push them. Biafra declaration was unexpected, was a premature child. But now, even from 2021, they hold Nam de Kalo. I mean, yes, they hold Nam de Kalo. It's enough if it's a nation that have already stand already as an independent. It's enough for them to prepare for war. But I am not calling for war. You see? So from the time of preparation, or uh, we are talking of different agitation uh, uh, under uh, IPOD, we may know that even if at all Nigeria purchase uh, F-16, fill the whole, take it to feed the whole desert, by God's grace. God will send this angel to burn them in the air. They will say they are fan artillery, they are fan air defense. It's the angels of God setting them on fire in the air. If we are not able to defend ourselves, our God will defend us. Jehovah Chuko Pike Adiama Bini will defend his children. Do you understand? So time will tell whether Biafra can be able to defend their airspace or not. But I pray that this what they are purchasing, let it be in Nigerian pockets not to use against Biafra. That's what I'm praying for. Because no matter what happened, look at Ukraine. Russia hold upper hand in the war between Russia and Ukraine. But still, Russia is losing. Ukraine is losing. At the end, Russia may win the war. But still, Russia had the impact on them. Therefore, there's no any good thing come from barrel of gun than destruction. Okay, in the first war, Biafra war, Nigeria won. Let us put it. Forget about no Victor, no Vanquish. The one and British, including Zeke, they to, to deceive themselves. That no Victor, no Vanquish. Therefore, let down the arms and return back to Nigeria. That's part of Victor. That's part of part of Vanquish. But remember, only in one day, only in one day, in a battle of three hours, Nigeria lost 18,000 troops in Abagana sector. 18,000 in three hours battle. Lost so many equipments. Lost, lost equipments that if they have forget that equipment, they will personally win Nigeria. Equipment that Nigeria lost is not it's, it's, it's terrible. Lost out of 20,000, Moritala want to take to enter Abagana. In three hours battle, Moritala lose 18,000 and managed to take 2,000 to enter Abagana because they have don't have any bullet to shoot again. Therefore, shoot, there's no bullet in their magazine again. So this that 2,000 is dead. Had they been therefore have enough bullets, they could have finished the remaining 2,000, even captured Moritala alive. You understand? I think it was in that abandonment that Moritala lost one of his legs. You see? So this time around, I don't think that it can be like that. But whatever that happened, there's no good thing that comes from the barriers of, barriers of one. So both Biafra and Nigeria should take conscious and certain things amicably. Let everybody separate amicably than to destruction. But I am telling you, whether you like it or not, as far as oil and gas is still existing in Nigeria, in Biafra, Biafra owes it. 
it will very be difficult. If every nation agrees for Biafra to go, Britain will not agree because of the oil and gas. Britain will never agree. They were surely working on the ground to stop Biafra because of oil and gas. Look at them, they carry their citizens, they hold. What is Britain doing? Nothing. To show you that Britain, Britain may not allow Biafra to go.